Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220, KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, happy Saturday and welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM and FM. <laughs> 1220 and 98.1 FM and we are stoked that's right we just hit our seven-year mark and we're stoked that you've been with us all this time who would have thought that Don and Gene would figure out how to last <laughs> in this market um, sharing with you what you need to know want to know and should know about real estate finance and so much more with a goal of guiding you to personal financial wellness and Gino's here my com compatriot now yeah. for seven years on the show sorry to miss last week Don just had a couple other things I had to take care oh, of it's a fine show without you I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the first time. I mean, one of the things that's interesting about the last seven years, Don, is that, you know, from a business perspective, if you're a business owner and you wonder, you know, if you can't time block your life and you can't get organized, this was an amazing lesson for us that you can absolutely time block your life. We have never mm -hmm. missed a show. We have always made time for it. We've always put it into our that's schedule. That's not true. We've we play, had a couple of playbacks. Well, But if you think in seven years, maybe two a year? Yeah, but I'm just saying that's not we, – we didn't miss a show. That was planned. You uh -huh. just can't miss it because you're on the air. People depend on you to be there. You can't just not show up. You can't uh, blow true. it off. And those were like both on a vacation or both at a usually at a at seminar, work, work yeah, a work event. event, yeah, that we both have to be at. So, so regardless, the point is, it's <laughs> been a great seven years. Uh, we've got to share a lot of information. We've acquired this little crystal ball, and I think for year seven, we should probably name it. We it should. Doesn't have a name, Ooh, but yeah, it's been yeah. really, really good to us. Freaking money. No, it's been on well, it. Maybe I don't know. We got to think about that. It hasn't reason. been off. That thing's <laughs> been that's been Penn and Taylor one. They just called us up and want that thing. It's it's off and right. Yeah. So <laughs> it was uh, like I said. It was kind of disappointing when I opened the box from Amazon. I expected something more, but it's a good one. Well, we had we won that gun one that actually works. Yeah. <laughs> There's no head in it, nothing like this, like Disneyland. That one actually works. So if you like, we'd like you to join us. What's cool is you can join us at our live studio. We actually video this, and you can go to donandgino.com, D-O-N-A-N-D-G-I-N-O.com, click on the live streaming button, and you enter our custom-built studio right here at Skyline Home Loans, where we have moved now to the Sunkiss building right by Magic Mountain. We can actually hear the screams in the background. And we'd love you to come visit us, but we're very proud of our team that started literally about seven years ago in an office about the size of our studio <laughs> with four Pretty of much, us. Yeah. And now we have like 27 of us in a 10,000 square foot space. And that's because you've supported us and because our team does an amazing job. So to help with that, because we always want to give you as much information about what's really happening, we always bring very successful people in here that we know are accountable to us, accountable to you right here in Santa Cruz. So we brought in one of the leaders of one of the best teams in real estate to kind of share with us how he's successfully helping you with buying and selling real estate and giving you an idea of what works, what doesn't work, what's the market doing, where the market's going. We'll get his opinion because he is one of the top real estate teams in town and a good friend of ours. We love working with this guy. He's actually going to tell you about how he's become very transparent, which we all love. <laughs> and welcome aboard again, Randy Place with Thank Randy Place and a Associates, no associates here, just you representing. They're always with me in spirit. There you They're go. Here. That's <laughs> little ghosts. That's actually interesting, right? Because that is an introduction to the team concept. The reason that we have teams, those of us that operate in the team model, mm -hmm. is so that work can always be done, whether we're there, busy, leading them or not. The work is on a radio being show. Done. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we have meetings and, and lunches and things where we wouldn't right. be able to be engaging with our clients' needs, yet our team is always there. So I, I would agree, that's that's a part of it. I wanted to make sure I had proper leverage so if I was taken out, because I do go to a lot of conferences, I'm committed to growth and always getting better. Um, so if I, am, if I am in that space and I'm removed, I'm out of town or whatever, I want to make sure that the clients are still being serviced at a high level. But one of the main things that I think we have done that has really been helpful for the client experience is we're focusing on really just specializing and making sure that everybody is good in their respective roles. So like I'm terrible at being um, effective at finding properties in the MLS. I can find them, but the thing is like if someone does likes a, a certain type of home, I tend to overlook certain characteristics and send them something and they'll say, oh, I hate this kind of home. So I recognize that and I said, okay, you know what, what am I good at? I'm good at the negotiations, I'm good at the rapport building, I'm good at the, the, at the listing and the marketing aspects. So I'm gonna lean into my strengths. Which is a gift, by the way, not everybody has that. I appreciate that. I mean, I, no, I work on it No, that's a huge too. part though, that's a huge part. 
It's well, big. I, People think it's just putting a you know a sign in the front yard, but really the negotiation skills and really knowing how to uh, act on their behalf is really a key component. Partic particularly now in 2018, I mean, finding the properties become less relevant because they're on you know mm -hmm. 17 different internet websites, mm -hmm. gathering property information themselves. So right. you know, I would I would argue that today, negotiations is probably one of the most important things a realtor does. Well, especially when you're having multiple offers on, on, on a very limited supply of properties that our clients are interested in, you have to be able to think outside the box, understand the psychology of the seller, understand the psychology of the agents, because oftentimes they're controlling recommendations that lead to the seller and lead to outcomes. So really understanding the psychology is really important. Um, I've got background in psychology, but also my, my family, they were all attorneys. So that's where I think the, the psychology comes in, but also the negotiation. So yeah, that, that is my strength. But the reason why I've created the model the way that I have is because I want to make sure that the clients are served at a high level and that I'm not trying to do everything, including things that I'm terrible at, and then they're being underserved. It's a good certain, leader to realize that, pieces. though, just so you know, because that Gino and I divide and conquer like you can't believe because he's stronger in certain areas and I'm stronger in certain areas, yep. and we divide and conquer because of that. But when I try to do it all on my own, yep. you fail at certain things. For well, sure. and I think that's one of the first common mistakes that someone goes to build when they build a team. The first thing they think is that they need to duplicate themselves. Mm -hmm. And if they do, now you have two people that are only good at the same thing, mm -hmm. right? So what you have to do is counterintuitive, which is what you've done, is hire people to complement mm -hmm. the, the strengths and weaknesses of the team mm -hmm. to make sure that you have a well-rounded solution. And, and there are people on the, teams who, on the team who do have similar strengths and, and attributes that are really good at sales or really good at rapport building. But I also am mindful of the fact that we do need those other pieces, those stabilizing pieces to oversee the admin side, to oversee, like I said, finding the homes in the MLS, doing that kind of stuff and having that diligence because I have a lot going on. It's interesting that you mentioned the whole time blocking thing because I'm really focused on that, making sure the team is really plugged into that as well. But really making sure that I have people who are excellent already at time blocking that can say, hey, we don't have time for that. Or hey, we need to really push that out and make it an hour and a half block instead of a half hour block that you thought it was going to take. Right. Give more wiggle room. So I need to have a team that's going to complement that because what happens is the client doesn't necessarily see that there is a shortcoming that's being that's that's mixed into the deal. So for example, let's say I'm terrible at documents and I'm not that diligent in looking for signatures, right? Well, the client, if they're not experienced and gone through it a lot, they're not going to know that there are things not happening properly. So the client is underserved and they don't even know they're being underserved. So as long as I have a team that is competent and committed to getting better, they are, are picking up all those pieces and they're making sure that everything is done at a high level in a super specialized area. Mm -hmm. So everybody's... We love your, your high level of service and, and, and the input you're giving us because what you're helping us with. And if you just tuned in, we're here with Randy Place, Randy Place and Associates with Remax. And, and what's nice is he's here to give you an idea of what you should be looking for in your real estate professional because right now with a tight inventory I can tell you it matters more than ever and through the, the segments as we go through Randy's gonna break out things that how he's helping his clients either sell their home for more sell it faster whatever your particular goals are or how to get you into a home I mean that is one of the trickiest things we have right now because we absolutely do not have enough inventory and if you're not working with a true professional that has a reputation like Randy does your chances of your offer getting accepted are minimal and we'll go into those details too because I know we can piggyback with you on the values of a you know a high level real estate professional that is well trusted and know the job's going to get done along with a local lending company that they mm -hmm. know is going to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So there are ways to help get your offer accepted over others, even though everybody thinks it's just the highest level mm -hmm. or the highest offer, I should say, and that's not always the no, case. No, there's a lot of other factors that go into it. We could talk a little bit more about it, but, but we will. a lot Because I guarantee a lot of you out there going, please help me. I've been looking for homes for six yeah. months. If I you're frustrated, help. you know, it might be time for a change and look at a different model. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So what we'll do, Randy, we'll go ahead and go into a break here. And when we come back, I want to talk more about your, the differences between your team and the uh, there's There's multiple ways to, to set up a team. And this would be important for you out there to get a good idea of what you should be looking for and why some levels work better than others, especially in a, uh, a market that we're in out here in Santa Cruz, especially with our little bubble. You've put together quite a team that's similar to ours here at Skyline Home Loans. So don't go away. You're going to learn a lot about real estate today and how to be successful. Or if not for you, for your friends. When we come back to the Dot and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show.